Hey, what's up, everybody? So this is going to be a Yuri's Revenge game on Country Swing. It's going to be one of the classic Yuri's Revenge maps. And this is Video Strategy Gaming. So we're going to scout the map with dogs. Usually three dogs. Because you could do it with, you could scout with two dogs, but sometimes two dogs scout the map a little bit too slow. And then you make one or two conscripts or GIs. Depending on who you are, fill up a building if you want to. Unit ready. It's not super important to fill up the building early game. Construction complete. But the only thing that you had to look out for is if they get a building filled up right next building. to you, when both armies are very big, it's going to be a very Unit ready. bad problem for you. So go multiple. We are war miners Hot. from War Factory. We are I'm gonna say it like this because sometimes. Somebody got confused when I said war, f or if I said f war, meaning war factory. So I'm going to say war factory every time, or wharf, when you guys get used to that. Wharf means war factory. Low power. So we're going to fill up this building, building. the trailer. Unit Start ready. making tanks, and I usually don't attack until I get two tanks. Um, because this one tank is like, it's not really worth. Unit you know, trying ready. to control it. Because it's, it's just not worth attacking with one tank most of the time unless you're trying to do some kind of sophisticated rush. Um, I actually seen a thing on, um... Unit ready. It's one of the desert maps. I forget the name of the map because I haven't Building. played it in so long. Oh my god, I, I missed that map. Complete. It's one of the desert maps It's not dry heat. Where they try to get Unit a tank lost. into your base as fast as Our possible. The first tank... Attack. It's so basically to press in the hotkeys as fast as possible. This is like this is like a tactic um, where you get the first tank is like every single um microsecond matters. So you're gonna get, try to get tanks to the base as fast as possible with one tank because like sometimes in some maps you know allies is weak or Soviet is weak if if um they're going one minute from war and they're waiting a minute. Um. But yeah, I usually attack on two tanks, not one. And I, I don't try to like do an immediate attack with one tank immediately. They, like a lot of like some efficiency type rush. I'm not. I usually don't do that too much. Now as you see, some, somewhat not really a fast battle lab, but I mean it's not a late battle lab. Um, in your defense, you, you want to get battle lab. Sometimes you could go to war factories before battle lab. Um, I think it's a better idea to, I mean, either way, either one's good, but a lot of people like going bad at first because of the fact that Mirage tanks, you get more for your money and more for your money time. Like, the amount of time that you, with one war factor, you could do a lot more with, um, Mirage tanks than with Grizzly tanks. So you notice I got some flag trucks. A ring of the flag trucks, I'm seeing, can I attack him or not? I'm not sure. Now you see he's got the defending. He's just on the defense. That's like not too uncommon for the allies just to take the defensive. So now I'm sending out a split. I'm like, I'm gonna come over from over here. And then I like, is the split big enough? Like if you make some mistake in the split, I can attack him. But he's got racketeers. And I started shooting rushing. So I didn't think. A split. You gotta try it even if it doesn't work every time. Trying to attack, but he's it's gonna be hard to really hurt him because he's well defended and he's on purely on purely on defense. Got a miner, not bad. If I get two miners, that's a big deal. If I got two miners, I'm gonna lose some tanks in exchange for the two miners. But overall, killing miners is a bigger deal than losing a couple of tanks because I could rebuild. He can't Unit. immediately attack Unit. and kill me, so eventually Location I'm gonna get the better of the exchange. I think I see he's in Britain, not USA. Unit ready. So, ready put him under pressure, but I might Unit lose some tanks ready. screwing around over there. Building. New construction order. options. Moving. Moving. Unit Moving. ready. And now, the reason why I'm trying to keep some of his tanks over there is so I can attack with my other ready. my other group right over here. And he's withering away the fact that he lost minus. So he's a little bit in trouble. Now he's gonna spam tanks. And I think trying to win with um, a big army is trying to 
Uh, it's Unit better than trying ready. to win with super weapons. Unit lost. Ready, comrade. A super Fighting weapons. Order. You just go invulnerable. It doesn't make your army work any way differently other than when a super weapon is on. Unit ready. Building. Okay. So anyway. Unit ready. Changing position. Trying out a split over there. What is that a Unit five tank ready. split? I believe. But eventually, I think make I think and country Unit swing. Ready. It's best to make a, um, a little bit later for Iron Curtain because, oh, you can rush Iron Unit Curtain. That also ready. works if you, if you know how to do it and you do it right, but, um, I think trying to kill him with multiple Unit Warfagers ready. and multiple Rhino tanks Building. first is better. Building. Trying to first, Unit a nuclear ready. missile, oh, that's good. Unit lost. I think I'll lose that fight right there. Ready. I could have tried. So to Location confirmed. Ready, comrade. Sometimes you could actually fight even though you know you're gonna lose an exchange just so he loses a couple of tanks and your other split does something so I don't know, is that a seal or a spy right there? Oh, it looks like a spy. Oh shit. Raider sabotage. And then I gotta make a split second decision. Should I run or fight him in the fog? And I'm like, I'm gonna run. Unit ready. Training. I ran away. Construction complete. Unit ready. That got the ready. industrial plant up. I remember, um, I actually put the industrial plant Comrade. near the, um, battle lab, which is not a good idea ready because if he gets a weather storm, he's going to kill them both position. if the shield is down. Unit ready. For the union. But sometimes, ready, oh no, sometimes you don't, you don't do it right. Okay, but I'm like, I'm, I'm cur I can't see everything but I'm curtain, so Building. I mean, the fog isn't really that scary. I got the iron curtain. Unit lost. If I went together, I don't know why. I'm, he's pushing me away from his base. He's not. I'm not supposed to let him do that. And I'm thinking about not even using the iron curtain. I'm like, oh crap, these mirage tanks are tough. Son of a bitch. I gotta use it. And now I gotta chase him around. Place this real quick. Get it. Get it up as fast as possible. Get the nuke uh, mess up. He actually, he actually slowed down my iron curtain a lot right there. Damn. I'm like, okay, I just pick up this miner, but he recalls it. Building. Since he's under pressure, I do a tech switch for um, Rhino tanks to siege tanks. And actually, oh, he's actually somewhat prepared. I didn't think he had any IMDs. Just keep flying around. Unit ready. Moving in. Moving in. Unit ready. And one thing you could do: make two to three siege choppers. Unit ready. And the sea shoppers, you and uh, because they can actually get in closer with the iron curtain, you land them and then you just mess everything up because you can kill the um, sea shoppers. So you just kill everything with the, with the sea shoppers when they land with the iron curtain. Or you could use tanks, so you have two options. But the sea shoppers, they could fly over stuff. They could, you know, it's you know it's easier to get a direct hit with the sea shoppers sometimes. Like now, I guess. Now, I'm thinking about, you know, oh, I want to kill those guys with siege choppers, but then I see he has his IVs. So I'm like, bad idea. He lost one. For some reason, I thought maybe he wanted to move his IVs right away and I could sneak on, but he did. He got my nuclear missile with a seal. <laughs> Okay, so he's got some air defense now. What, did he kill both of my super weapons? They're not bad with the seal. The Navy seal is son, a son of a bitch. I could have walled up my super weapons and I had the game one because of the fact that I killed so many miners. And I had the one game one, but just about finished up. Had the game being close to finish if the super weapons were alive. Just drop a nuclear missile on him and he's toast. But since the seal, you know, it's giving him a chance to make a comeback now. Construction complete. Vehicle reporting. So there goes the, the another iron curtain. I'm not gonna probably not. I might not make a nuclear missile again. Because usually, if you kill a nuclear missile once, if you don't, if the ore is starting to run out, you don't make a second one. It depends what you want to spend your money on. Usually, an army is better than a nuclear missile. Building. No, uh, I'm actually not gonna go for two through three siege chopper things. I'm actually gonna go for a full tech shift by making siege choppers. I'm running away like a little bitch over here because mirage tanks are so hard to stop. 
See how much stronger um, Mirage tanks are than Rhino tanks alone without any help? Without help, once you get more than a certain amount of Mirage tanks, it just gets so hard. I mean, the Soviet really has to have the tempo and have him outnumbered or really trouble. And he doesn't have any Prism tanks alone. It's, which makes the, you know, me able to defend with sentry guns. But, oh, he does have snipers, though. See, I'm just landing. I was kind of a little confused. Like, I'm just going to land here and just defend, I guess, because he's got his IRVs. I was going to land a siege shot. He might blow part of my base, but I got the Iron Curtain. I'm going to use my Iron Curtain in defense. Unit lost. What is the mission? Making tracks. Waiting orders. Now, this base is in trouble right here. Now, I got the Iron Curtain of about almost zero. Put a sentry gun, then hit the Iron Curtain. Unit ready. We've got a sniper. I don't know if we could get hit a desk later on. Right, Iron Curtain. Oh my god. I'm in. Building. Looks like. Wow, he's really working me. Unit ready. Iron ready. I should have waited a couple more seconds for the Iron Curtain. I know he's... Um... The reason why the Mirage Tanks are running like that is because he's using hot key TT to gather all Mirage Tanks, so his Mirage Tanks actually... Sometimes they run through buildings when they're on um, hot key and like that, so... It wasn't just a coincidence that those... Guys were um, running through buildings. But it usually works, unless like you're under pressure. New rally point established. Mm. Unit ready. So Give him some pepper. now I'm gonna start making sea choppers. I say like, only has like what a couple IFD, so I could, you know, they're not gonna kill me totally. Maybe yeah, I could get an iron curtain drawn. We've got the big guns. Hey, where are his iron? I don't know. Give some We've got the big guns. So there they are. Ready. But he has two MG IFV, so I'm like, okay, if I and if I Iron Curtain drones, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna heal them, and heal on the tanks with the terror drones on, kills the terror drones, even if the Iron Curtain is on. Unit ready. That's really the only way to kill Iron Curtain drones is with the MG IFVs, engineer IFVs. Unit ready. So you know, I got enough war factories. I don't really need any more buildings. The only thing I could get is a repair depot, just in case my NCV dies, or a nuclear missile, of course. But I don't want to spend the money on that. It's too expensive. Five thousand dollars at this point is, you know, when you only might be able to get it used at once. I'll try to win to close the game out. Moving so. in. Siege choppers, and I send in a little bit of tanks. Unit split, and he's like, I got plenty of Mirage tanks. I'm not afraid of those. Okay. I'm like, oh crap. Unit lost. Unit ready. Insufficient funds. I noticed that his IAVs are filled. The engineer IAVs can don't. Engineer IAVs cannot shoot. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hit him real quick. Unit ready. So I just charge in. I'm just charging in. I'm like, yeah, crap, could I take him out? Remember, I the engineer IFVs cannot shoot. All they're doing is healing the other I the other IFVs. So I'm like, oh crap, I think I freaking could really just kill everything right here. I think I might be able to kill everything right here. And he's not... I think he's starting to realize, you know, he's screwed. Yeah, so actually what happened is the industrial plant plus the multiple war factories got a bigger army than... With the industrial plant plus multiple war factories, I got a lot more siege weapons than, than he could handle with his air defense. And he didn't make enough air defense because I got more than what he thought he needed because they came pretty quickly out of nowhere. When he